Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I want to show you in this video how you can fix uh, GoPro, uh, in this case uh, 4, the version of this GoPro is uh, silver. Uh, this GoPro doesn't start, this is actually the second time I do this to, um, to a GoPro, I didn't record the other time I did it. So I wanted to share the, with you, if you did uh, all your resets and nothing worked, this is your last resort to, to fix your GoPro, so you can uh, have it again working. So, if you have a GoPro that doesn't start like this one, I did remove the battery. I did try several things like pressing the... actually the shutter button, insert the battery, press start it should do a reset or something but none of these tricks worked so I'm gonna leave this out of battery remove the SD card so I'm going to the last resort solution that we have I've seen some people commenting about this but I never saw the full uh, video how to do it and uh, that's what I'm gonna do so if you have a problem with the GoPro, it doesn't start, it could happen, it doesn't even have the LCD on. So let's get into the PC. So here's the, the guide. So if you break your GoPro, so what you need? You need a Windows or Linux or even a Mac OS. You need a blank uh, SD card. It has to be smaller than 32 gigabytes need the micro SD card reader of course and some um, some software here's the link for the software already the download it after zip it and uh, place uh, place the card on the um, on the PC already done that so what we have to do is find this file h4 recovery dot t TGZ and uh, send it to the to the root of the card. Remember, not your original card, a card that has to be smaller than 32 gigabytes. I'm using a 16 gigabytes card. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to search for that file. And the file was H4 recovery. Okay, let's go find it. H4. H4. Win, win, recovery. So this is the file for my GoPro Hero 4. So I'm going to do it. Send to my SD card. I did format this SD card, if you're wondering. So it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to show you the content of the SD card. So only this file in the SD card. And like I said, let's check the properties. This is a FAT32. This is a 16 after it's been formatted. It has 10 gigabytes. So this is the software already decompressed it. Now we have the recovery sent to the SD card. Next step. Let's see the next step. Um, okay, eject. Don't remove the card uh, by hand before doing this. This, uh, this is actually important. Eject your cards uh, so we don't get uh, errors. So it is safe to remove. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to place it on my GoPro. Okay, it's inserted. I'm just going to show you here on the on this other camera. This is a 16, 16 gigabytes. I had a 64 gigabytes here where I record my videos, and this is 16. So 16. 
under 32 gigabytes uh, only the recovery file h h4 dash recovery dot tgz only those two files no battery now just gonna follow there's a USB I'm gonna connect this to the um, to my computer I, I probably have to install USB drivers okay cleanly eject from the computer insert it to the card already done USB command remove the battery from the camera okay batteries out of the camera in case you had something plugged leave the car card on the camera okay to the PC okay we're gonna connect this end to the PC and my PC this port you don't see it but I'm using a 2.0 so sh that shouldn't be a problem now press and hold the shutter so this is the shutter and with the other end plug the USB so let's see what happens there's no battery inside here I'm just pressing the shutter I'm going to close this door just going to confirm once again no battery I'm going to close this oh it doesn't want to close okay I'm going to press this while you while you plug the USB okay let's release this okay I don't want you to go to Windows. I'm going to disable the, um, the internet. It says not identified. Why did I do that? Because there's some USB drivers inside the folder and I wanted to use these drivers instead of the other drivers. So this is what we're going to do. Let's see. okay then we have we go to the device manager unknown device controller details of the controller none so we can't add it like this let's see if it's still working here okay couldn't find it I was waiting for it to to fail here update controller search for software put your folder there include subfolders let's see installing there's a warning because this is not a certified driver install it anyway remember this is after you press the shutter and connect uh, the USB while you're pressing the shutter button it will try to install um, a driver but this is not the normal um, GoPro driver I'm going through all the process here couldn't be initiated okay let's do close close as you can see there's a command USB command mode it's a bit different I'm gonna leave this as it is and we go back here let's try the other the other option which is this driver as it mentioned here this download ZDAG and here's the vendor and the product ID we should be finding uh, once we execute so let's go so if you if you um, go to options list all devices and you'll find this one hero 4 camera USB command mode and at the bottom and you can see the USB ID 4255 and product ID 0009 which is this one uh, so once you open this up it's the lib it's not that one it's this one to 
install the driver in your camera. Say screenshot. Yes, screenshot is terrible. Replace. So this will replace the driver. It's working. Okay. I did replace the original driver for this. Use this one. As mentioned here, uh, this one is the one that's actually worked. <coughs> So what I did was this was looking for the the, um, the command in the system thirty two um, in the system thirty two path. So I had I added to the script the path of my folder where I have the the tools. This is actually the my folders my folders uh, path. Uh, it is trying to execute, but it says camera not found. So what I'm going to do is remove it. I'm going to do once again, press shutter, connect it, and release. And let's see what's here. It doesn't do anything yet. Let's give it a try. Okay, something's happening now. Initializing peripherals. Crudely initializing your phone and controller. Now we're getting somewhere. Took us a while, but it's doing. Now we have some crazy logo here. I'm not gonna touch the cable. I don't wanna disconnect it. And there's a, like a Pokemon sign here. <laughs> okay, we are getting something just gonna have to wait wait at this speed it's gonna take a uh, quite a while and it did finish now we have something else there's a flashlight here I'm gonna try to show you this unpacking recovery file please wait and it's started to flash here and at the top. Okay, I'm not gonna move it much. Okay, there's a, s I'm gonna try to do a little zoom. Put this center. Okay, flashing PBA, flashing RTOS. Let's do a little more flashing. Okay, this is better. This way you can see what's going on on the screen. Flushing Chrome FS, flushing Linux, flushing root FS, be patient. This is going to take quite, quite a while. Flushing complete, please reboot now. Should we reboot now? I think so. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna remove this. This is gonna turn off. I'm gonna put my battery back here. And that's about it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yay! She's alive again. New update. Zero 04. 100% updated. Cam update. She's doing several reboots on her own. And it's back online. Is it? Let's check this out. Yes, we have a camera once again. There you have it, my friends. After all this hard work, you have your GoPro once again. Of course, so what I'm gonna do, just gonna check here. 
yeah, it's normal. 2.5K, 30 frames, ordinary view. Pretty nice. Okay, so this is how you recover a GoPro, a Hero 4. Uh, this is the silver version, by the way. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope this helped you. This is actually the second camera I recovered. I did recover a camera from a friend of mine, uh, but I didn't record the, the process, so I mine, this one is, is actually mine and had this issue, so I decided to record it. Um, so thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like my videos and my channel so please uh, subscribe and share the videos with your friends especially the ones that have this issue and uh, if you have any issues you can leave a comment so other people or even I uh, can give you some hints to to fix it if you're having some sort of problem thank you very much and uh, see you next time